Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you are new, please smash that like button and dis uh, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> um, personal reading link is in the description box below this, this video here. Okay, Virgo, so let's get into your reading. <clears throat> this is the end of September, so we're going to start from now looking into all of October to see what messages... And if there is an extended reading, the link will be in the description box below. Okay, so, oh, you're starting off with engagement ring. Engagement ring, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. You have the sword in the rose, clarity, truth, a revelation coming through, Virgo. Somebody wants to get engaged. Self-indulgence, focusing on self-worth, time to heal shadow work so it looks like you're really focusing on yourself right now but there is going to be kind of like as you're busy i feel like doing what you're doing focusing on yourself um there's a revelation there's something that's revealed here about yeah there's a love call so you receive a love call someone expresses love thinking of you letting you know i do feel like someone is coming in here with some truth wanting to have like um a partnership with you or committed relationship this is a runner so this is someone who runs uh there may be may have been a codependent relationship but this is someone who runs is a fear of intimacy listening listens to their ego virgo um yeah at the same time they love you i feel like this is somebody who's afraid of commitment or fearful of being seen as soon as you guys get close soon as there's like a closeness that happens they they run maybe you run or you both kind of do that yeah mirroring each other so there is like this energy of two people you and whomever your person is here uh you guys both kind of it feels like do the same thing um because a relationship reflects each of your wounds and so you see your wounds in their eyes and they see their wounds in yours and so there's some difficulty here yet there is this still thinking of you letting you know loving you definitely wants to be in a relationship um at least this energy is playing out in october it's a soulmate connection you have a soul contract with this person virgo okay this person's like looking at your photos still missing you being nostalgic about you and your time together my nail just popped off okay um there is some type of heartbreak or something must have happened where you guys were or currently are separated it feels like you're not you're not together some type of painful separation um somebody there was some kind of maybe feeling of being stabbed in the back or some kind of um heartbreak maybe an argument or something like that that happens or happened I don't feel like that's coming in the future here I just feel like this is the energy just the the present energy this is what I feel like is going on here hold on a second Okay, Virgo, so let's see what else, what other messages does Virgo need to know? Show Virgo more about this situation here. Okay, so yeah, the two of cups reverse. Definitely some kind of separation or heartbreak two people felt like or one person felt like their needs weren't getting met in this relationship, a sense of unhappiness, um, wishes not coming true here so there's this there's an energy of like greediness or someone was looking for quick results here but not trusting their intuition about something okay needing to make things right so there is an energy of someone wanting to make something right here you could be dealing with a pisces you could be dealing with um a libra okay so i feel like you're going to be receiving a message someone's going to be dropping their guard like i said there's a love call or a message or a text or some kind of communication 
in October. So yeah, somebody is putting some boundaries down, dropping their guard. Um, yeah, it just kind of feels like coming out of some isolation, getting their faith back. Um, definitely an energy of someone feels kind of intoxicated by you or very addicted to you. There could be a Capricorn in this situation. Could be an Aquarius as well. But yeah, taking a risk. So I do feel like this person is going to come in and take some kind of risk with you. So if you receive a call or you're trying to... You know, you, or respond to a like if you get a text message or any kind of phone call from this person in october this is what's going on with them okay they're pretty much coming back or making their way back to you okay let's take a look at you okay so you've got the death card in the reverse so there is some kind of energy of um still some suffering of some sort in regards to you um yeah virgo I feel like maybe you feel like you're stuck or you're afraid this might make you feel stuck. Queen of Wands. So this could be a fire sign or you could be activating this fire energy in reverse where you're very um, angry or uh, like feeling aggressive, but at the same time a bit weak or not yet ready to receive some kind of message or call from this person. Okay, the tower in the reverse yeah because mm, you don't want so virgo it feels like do you feel like maybe if you talk to this person or try to get back or engage with them again that it's just going to fall apart or there's you know there's just going to be another problem i feel like you're trying to avert any problems you're not talking to this person or you you're just not ready to talk to this person if they reach out to you even something simple like any, there's a feeling of maybe that you might have like a little bit of a fear of change or a sense of feeling oppressed. Do you know what I mean? Like, a, like feeling oppressed by this. I feel like you're trying to seriously be in your happy place here, Virgo. There's a Leo energy, Scorpio energy, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, I feel oh, Virgo. Yeah, you're, you're definitely focusing more on people who are, like, I feel like you're not focusing more. I want to say maybe surrounding yourself more with people who are supportive of your endeavors or just going in the direction that you're going. Could be some sisters. It could be some friends. You're doing some research, maybe how to, like, recover or how to get yourself on um, a good footing after some kind of separation here. Yeah, so you, it looks to me, even with the Four of Cups, that you are very indifferent even, or you might be showing indifference. You might not be accepting any love offers or just feeling kind of blah at this time. And it feels like as soon as you, like, like if you guys are like absent from each other, that's when I feel like somebody's going to come in here and it doesn't really feel like you're ready to accept any offer that comes through, okay. Um, I feel like you're having some kind of a wake up call here in your life with the karma card, you know? Like in some regard, I do feel like you're kind of like, oh, I think I need to, I don't wanna make a, um, a mistake. I feel like that's what's going on here. You have a fear of not being able to accomplish what you're gonna, what you wanna do. Why is, like, what is the deal? I feel like maybe because this is a runner situation, you guys get close and this person runs away and you don't want to do that again. You don't want to have that feeling of abandonment or to, to deal with. Yeah, here you go. Ten of Swords. So I feel like this is some kind of a situation here where this person does not want to give up on you and they do want to be with you. I do feel that. Like they do love you, but they can't like, and they want to commit, but it feels like they have struggle committing. Maybe there's some kind of a pattern here that you and this person have experienced. I feel like you're trying to be strong here and avoid trying to make any changes here. Even if this person's at a distance to you and they want you to travel to them or something, I feel like you're going to avoid that. Hmm, is there going to be any kind of major shift or change? Like, what is going on with this person here for you, Virgo? What is the deal? Okay, 
King of Swords, so. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm -mm. So I feel like this person's a bit of an opportunist. And I keep it real here for you. They seek opportunity or they try to create opportunities for themselves so they can have some kind of gain. They're greedy. This person's, they're, they're greedy. Mm, King of Pentacles here, where you're not. <laughs> That's you showing up. You're not, Virgo. I don't feel like you are, I don't see you as being an opportunist. I don't. I feel like this person is. And I feel like you prefer um, like this relationship with this person to be more steady and stable. Um, and you're more interested in commitment. I feel like if this person feels like they're, like you feel like if this person does not have any opportunities um, that they kind of come to you or that they will try to come to you. But then there's always some kind of delay, right? So I feel like this is a pattern or some kind of his history that you might have with this person, which is why I, I don't know if you trust them wanting to come back in and that they're serious this time. You're not, I don't know, is this person, like, are they serious? Are they going to be serious about this? What is the deal? Oh, wow. Okay, three of swords in the reverse. So that's that's healing. That's recovering after a break or an argument or some trying to heal this situation. Let me see. Yep, look at that. Five of wands in the reverse. My gosh, Virgo. I feel like they want to resolve these this issue. Why did they keep running away? Why are they a runner? Because they feel like they want to resolve the conflicts and heal the relationship. And I because I was asking if they were serious, so I feel like they are. Why does this person run? Oh, okay. Yeah, they got a fear of commitment, fear of vulnerability, a fear of being open or being a fear of being revealed something about them being revealed or um being seen and then being rejected you know that's the, the ace of cups in the in the re, in the reverse is like fear of being let down or disappointing you wow they have a real big fear of this yeah so i mean i guess it almost feels like this person just believes that they are a disappointment. No one could ever love them or, or really appreciate them. But there's, <laughs> you must have come really close. You must have come really close to some degree if they keep coming back to you. They, yes, they are an opportunist. But the thing is, they could just keep having opportunities elsewhere. Why this trying to reconcile? Why this? Because there's something about you. How do they, like, what is it about you, Virgo? that this person feels <laughs> temperance in reverse because <laughs> you kind of keep them on your on their toes Virgo um, you have disruptive energy you're a little chaotic um, they feel out of control and it kind of I hate to say it and I know it might sound crazy but that crazy aspect of you this feels like I'm going to keep it real here. This relationship feels like it's a little, like you guys feed off of this energy, okay? I, don't, I know I'm not talking to everybody. I'm talking to somebody here. They are attracted to your unpredictability. That's just what it is. They, they, they never know where they stand with you. It makes them nuts. It makes them crazy. They run away. But the moment that you are trying to be super super i feel like virgo you might be a little chaotic yourself and you want someone who's stable um to stabilize you but i feel like you'd be bored with that and this is why this attraction is here because you're both a bit unstable and you keep coming back it's almost like a challenge it's <laughs> i'm not gonna say it's the healthiest thing i've ever seen i i have to keep it real here i don't really feel like this is very very healthy but this is the relationship with Virgo and their person. It could be a Sagittarius. Will Virgo and their person be able to seriously heal this relationship and get off this roller coaster? You've got the chariot. So that's action and change. Hmm. There's great potential. So this might have something to do with a little bit of maturity here. But I feel like if you're both 
picking a lane and you're going in the same lane together and really communicating because I let me see is there a communication issue like talking and resolving problems yes someone is very dismissive or two people are very dismissive to each other or one this is the problem nobody is listening or one person is not really listening this is why this relationship isn't really the struggle to get off the ground it has a lot to do with this five of swords energy okay um which pretty much is just maybe some harsh words or an abusive relationship there is uh to what percentage i'm not really sure but it feels like there is a lack of of either listening carefully and understanding and interpreting what the other person is saying there could be um like a deficit and in a like a difficulty holding attention or comprehension there might be something going on there um or or just really understanding like seeking to understand how the other person feels that's what that seems to be what the the problem is like you can't fix something unless we know what the problem is right and but if someone tries to tell the other person you know how this is happening or this isn't happening and what have you and the other person is just dismissing it then yeah that's not going to work that's what i feel like the biggest issue is here there's definitely this there's attraction there's love there's 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 all of that but somebody here who is the one who's not listening who's the biggest offender in this relationship that is seriously not listening or paying attention or understanding oh okay so i'm gonna say it's either a leo a scorpio a taurus or an aquarius and if that doesn't resonate for you that's not your person then it's you okay so there needs to be this like if this person's returning which i see they are and they want to fix the relationship in some way for those of you who have a like a struggle to listen and to hear and to understand what this person's trying to tell you um then i feel like that's something you really need to like focus on that practice listening um <clears throat> then hear them and if this is them um they really need to practice you know those four signs that i called out they really need to practice not you know dismissing either you need to not be dismissive or they do or both of you <laughs> you know the key to understanding is is everything right i mean and nobody likes to feel dismissed or have that pushback right but there is a lot of defensive energy somebody's not listening and hearing because when someone i don't know which one if it's you or your person but when an issue needs to be addressed one person instead of listening and trying to solve the issue they're pushing back against it because they don't want to know that there's problems because they relate those problems to being as a defective person so they don't want to solve the problems they want to keep everything surface and kind of shallow you know let's just go along to get along let's just be happy don't worry about the problems everything will work itself out a little bit of toxic positivity happening here okay and relationships no matter what kind always need it doesn't like if somebody's constantly complaining then that's a problem but then if somebody's constantly complaining it's because their needs aren't getting met and then if their needs are getting met then they need to actually take some action and stop complaining about it right so and another person is there's somebody here who's pushing back it's just very defensive and that's what the issue is but but <laughs> feels like this person doesn't want to let you go Virgo it really does it feels like they really truly deep in their heart love you they don't want to lose you they don't want to let you go sometimes they have to because of either their internal negative messaging or yours okay because there's a lack of trying to fix the issue so what what needs what does besides the listening here okay what's virgo's advice virgo what is your advice going forward okay you have the high priest in reverse um which is the hierophant hmm 
Okay, so they're saying rebel. Everything that you've done before in regards to this relationship go in the opposite direction. So I don't know exactly what that means for you. Mm, something with creativity. Try to be more creative. Okay. And the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Also, in the position of your advice is... Um, Oh, I, I hear, okay, I get it right now. They're saying rebel against conflict, rebel against any conflict. So don't start fights. That's what I'm hearing. Don't start a fight. So I'm hearing if you have something that you need to express, express in a gentle, reassuring, calm way that is kind, but also addresses your needs. Yes, also addresses your needs, okay, of the lovers. And so that's what I mean. Um, so so if you're going to talk to this person, they're going to come back and you try. Right, it sounds like the onus is on you, okay? I'm not telling you it is. It's on theirs as well. And I'm going to ask them how they need to handle this. But I feel like for your part, um, I feel like your message here is to have a conversation Talk to this person in a gentle, loving way in regards to asking or telling this person what you need, okay? So I guess I could give you an example, something like, um, so, all right, so let's just say this person is, doesn't like to, or forgets birthdays, right? I know that's not for everybody, but let's say they forget birthdays. Um, it's important for you to say no. Um, birthdays are very special and I love celebrating my birthday with you and I love hearing from you on my birthday and that's something that I really really love and when you do remember to do that that makes me so happy because I feel like this person wants to please you you know so you're seeing it in a very gentle way um, but you're also putting it out there that that's a need that you have and I know that's not everybody's need it's just a simple example um, and give this person an opportunity to make you happy versus why haven't you messaged me on a, on my birthday? That is so mean. You're such a mean person. Why do you do that? Like, that's just going to make somebody run away. Okay. Now, as far as this person, what do they need to do? Okay. Four of swords with the six of wands in the reverse. Okay. Oh. Oh. They need to stop running away and disappearing if they, when they don't feel as if. So this person, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I mean, this is really just going to depend on you, but I feel like this person gives a silent treatment to you. I feel like this person, even with the six of wands in the reverse, um, they give up very easily. They disappear, they retreat after feeling like a failure, they block, they stop talking, uh, they go within. I feel like the message here is this person needs to open up, they need to get some healing in, um, they need to get their confidence back and start believing in themselves, you know, and maybe you can send this to them if you talk to them, but um, even with the Two of Swords, they need to like either compromise or... Um, pick a lane pick a lane like they're either going to be in or out they can't keep coming back to you if they're not going to make any effort to change or work with you in the relationship and you need to hold that person you know somewhat accountable for that obviously from what i can tell here you know it's like pick a lane either be gone for good and don't freaking return or you know and deal with let the love fade or Keep the love alive and w work on the relationship, right? So it takes two. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. Okay. So that's what I'm hearing. Let me take a look at the outcome here for you guys. Just a quickie. All right. Yeah. So there's definitely going to be a temporary. There's definitely going to be a return. Okay. Um, you guys, you know, obviously this is what I'm seeing. But if you 
decide that you don't want to go back that's you're taking your will back you're, it's your own free will you can do what you want but i feel like there is going to be a return for sure eight of cups in the in the reverse is always that fully learning from the past someone returns home or two people come back together and then keep walking that path to the nine of cups on that wish fulfillment yeah so there's potential here i feel like for you and your person to work things out but you both need to decide like you've got to pick a lane you can't just sit there and wait in limbo either one of you right so if you're both going to work it out then freaking put the effort in and do the work with each other fearlessly right because the way i feel like with this reading is what i'm seeing here is that you know love and fear cannot coexist if someone is too fearful to love another person then they need to just be in their fear state they can't just keep dipping their toe in and then dipping out dipping their toe in and dipping out and neither can you so you you and your person like you maybe you've already made up your mind some of you virgos i know are like oh here we go again with this person i'm done with it um and then it's not your message okay this is for those of you that i'm picking up here who are struggling in some kind of off and on relationship and don't get mad at me because I ain't a single. Listen to yesterday's reading because you had new love coming in there. All right, let's see what your messages of love. <laughs> All right, obstacles, unhealed wounds, blocking forward movement. So there's definitely, like I said, I feel like, here, I'm spitting the bottle. I feel like there's definitely obstacles. And these are the obstacles that I'm talking about. Two people or one person having an unhealed energy an unhealed wound from like some maybe some childhood trauma or something from the past um acceptance everything happens for a reason time apart distance is bringing clarity for you and them but definitely for them does this situation align with your values and morals virgo healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting yes this is this, the struggle of this relationship has to do with that Okay, wait, timing is not quite right. Make any major decisions. Need to keep releasing. Somebody needs to keep releasing and but also to surrender. Surrender to the fear or surrender to the love. One or the other. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Seek out that support. Um, forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you live, move forward. Yeah, so if there was some kind of argument or something happened or breakup or something major, uh, and I'm not talking like serial cheating because we're not talking about that. If that's your situation, you need to just move on to somebody else <laughs> because if somebody's a serial cheater or even if they like run from relationship to relationship, then they've got like some kind of borderline thing going on, you know, and I don't mean any disrespect to anyone that's struggling with that and healing from that. I know that's very difficult and my heart goes out to you but if someone is not capable or seeing that they're dealing with that um you know it, there is something going on with anyone who ends a relationship or sets up somebody else prior to ending a relationship like there's some very serious issues going on and, and if they're continuous with that i don't mean like a one-time thing i'm talking about somebody is, needs validation very seriously needs a lot of attention can't be alone there's a major problem there and not everyone heals from that keep that in mind as well so don't get yourself in this position um, of being the exception to the rule because it's not always the way um this relationship yep moves towards a sacred union or marriage so the potential is there but just know you are safe and divinely guided virgo you're protected self-care the way we started so clear your energy field virgo focus on yourself before acting okay so that kind of just means take a pause i feel like before you say anything or do anything in regards to your person um i don't see you reaching out quite frankly virgo i feel like it's you you're on the receiving end of a reach out um let me see the oh oh so this person's in this position right it was my fault but i blamed you yeah they maybe didn't want to take accountability but they're seeing that now for their end of the stick i am so attracted to you i want to be more than friends you are the best thing in my life <laughs> so many things remind me of you i want you 
I got chills, they're multiplying. I remember every detail of our day or that day. I'm starting to understand our connection. And so this is how I feel that they feel about you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I'm becoming a better person. I feel like they are. I feel like they're trying to become a better person. I feel like they're really doing well. Um, or they're like trying to be better. And I do feel like they miss you. And this person left before you could leave. They might have kicked you out the door. Or they kicked themselves out the door before you left. But they can't stop thinking about you. Okay. But they had, they are fearful of contacting you, Virgo. Yes. They are. Because they messed up everything. And they know it. On their end. Something they messed up. They've got some good news that they wish they could share with you at this time. Um, you speak to them through music, Virgo. So you guys might have a connection to music or some kind of songs. Um, they replay your conversations over and over. They reread your texts or um, listen to your voicemail. Whatever. I love you. So... Yeah, I do feel like this person loves you, Virgo. Like, I, it's not a doubt. Like, so, right, love is a verb. Gotcha. But their fear prevents them from acting on that love. But they do have feelings for you. I don't feel like they don't love you. I couldn't let you get close to me. That's what I mean. I feel like you came closer than anyone in a, maybe a very long time. And it was hard for them to let you go. But their fear is so, like huge and it comes from like an insecurity of you being maybe not i don't know how can i say this it's i don't even know if it's you i feel like this person's like this with anybody that like they must have an issue with their mother like when they were a child or something maybe their mother was like really harsh on them um or a parent but i feel like for them, they have this fear of being rejected or not being good enough. They have a self-worth issue. They lie about things. And they don't lie on purpose to deceive you. They lie so that you won't be disappointed in them. Their life is really not together as it seems. I feel like this person comes into your life or when they do, they project an image of status, high status or something where they've got it all together. But they're really just a regular Joe or Joanne. The timing, they... So I feel like... <laughs> They may have told you that the timing just wasn't right when you met. But the fact is they were hiding who they really were from you. I feel like this person wears a mask and they just kind of pretend that they are something that they're not. And who they really are is the one they're fearful you're not going to like or love or appreciate. They really do wish things could be different. And they do often wonder if you are happy without them. And Virgo's like, yes, I'm happy either way. Um, they hide behind material things. Okay, so that might have been something huge in the relationship where they kind of came across as someone who's got the, the material things, you know, like the bling or the nice cars or, you know, the status, that kind of thing. Um, they hide behind that because they're not really, that's not really what they're all about. But they, I feel like this person really wants to either wanted to impress you and like long term oh my gosh that they, they just do like there's some serious issues okay because they don't understand that virgo is like nah i'm impressed with kindness i'm impressed with devotion i'm impressed with all the you know the good the good things i'm not i can get my own cars i can get my own money i can get my own career i feel like they had they must have like some kind of running anthem in their head that in order to be with someone they have to be top notch or top of the line and i don't think that they really like instead of even listening to you or getting to know you or understanding that about you they just made an assumption that that's how the opposite sex is yeah okay so they're dead wrong because virgo's like out in the backyard touching grass uh, drinking um, healthy fruit smoothies and um, enjoying nature and laughing with friends and you know Virgo's like if I if I live in a, wherever I hang my hat is my home you know so Virgo can have all the riches in the world and live in a, a cardboard box on the side of the street you know because Virgo won't even be in that box Virgo will be out there serving soup in a kitchen and trying to help other people my gosh this person is very materialistic 
I feel like, or they let, they allow that their life to be that way. Like the highest fashions, all the money, the houses, the cars, the, you know, all that stuff that to be popular, it's whatever. They bury themselves in work to forget you, but they can feel when you guys are apart. They love, they lost themselves for a little while here, Virgo. They do love you. They just can't get past themselves. That's what I feel like. This person stays awake thinking about you. Yeah, just being near you is intoxicating. Like they, their eyes roll in the back of their head like a shark when he bites into a piece of meat. This person cannot, they can't function in your presence. They have you on such a pedestal. It's ridiculous. They're trying to be you or trying to be as good as you or be like you and it's projected. It's like projected images and they don't even really know you. That's what I feel like this thing is here. Yep, you came closer than anyone and that scared the S out of them. For sure, Virgo. They were scared to death. Because you, like, they, people don't understand. Virgos see right through it. They see right through it. They see through the BS. They really do. They see through the facade. Virgos are very good at piercing the veil. All right. So you do have move on. Someone is unavailable. Waste of time. It's over. Or you've already moved on from that. And then here comes the commitment. Right? I feel like you're moving on. You're walking away from this relationship. Seriously, it's causing this person to rethink everything. You know, I mean, I don't know where to go. I, I don't know if they're going to come in. I don't feel like... I So I don't feel like this is a person that's like, oh, I've been to counseling. I've been to therapy. I got a mentor. I mean, maybe. But based on what I'm seeing here, I mean... If you are that Virgo that's given all the unconditional love and you've done your very best and you tried and, you know, whatever, I don't know exactly what your situation is. If you've done all that and you've required them to, you know, if, you, if we're going to be together, this is what we need to do now at this point because everything else is not working or it's things have got to change and they don't change, then, yeah, keep moving on. There's always going to be uh, somebody else that'll come along, okay? But if you're not in that position here you gotta really be like listen i i absolutely love you too and i think you're wonderful and there's no one else for me but we have some problems and i think we can get past them but these are the things we gotta do to make this work otherwise what are we gonna do right trust your intuition virgo the answer lies deep within you trust spirit wait for answers to be revealed to you Okay, although there may not be enough light for you, Virgo, right now to see what's ahead of you, and the shadows may frighten you, only believe in what you can see. Like, look at the facts and not the tricks, because your mind will play tricks on you. Don't pay attention to the tricks. Trust your gut, especially when you're in doubt of a situation, but don't do anything until you're sure, right? So if you're in a, if you're, some, there's a Virgo here listening who is like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I make that call or shouldn't I? Should I reach out or shouldn't I? If you're even asking if you should, then that means you shouldn't because you're in doubt. You got to have that total feeling from your head to your toe that this is the right thing to either do or not do. Okay. And I kind of feel like there's someone here listening who's questioning, should I call them on their birthday? Should I send that text? You know, whatever. Should I invite them? Uh, should I call and reach out and ask for my stuff back? Like, I don't, whatever it is, I'm telling you now that you need to take a pause. When in doubt, don't do anything. That's what I feel like that, the biggest message is there. Okay. Hmm. Material gift. That's interesting. What's that all about? Um, this is, this is you. Okay. And so I feel like you, some of you, okay, okay, okay you're you're definitely going to be receiving some all right so i don't know if this is connected to this reading or maybe it's this person gives you a gift material gift so material like the things like the bling or the money or tangible high value items um some or alone or there's something coming in for you here virgo i just want you to know in october you're going to be receiving a gift of money if you haven't already okay and from a popular social female okay there's a popular social female who's going to give you a gift, an expensive gift. All right, I'm not diving into that. 
or a uh, mature dynamic fiery male so it's from a it's from a fire sign there's a fire sign masculine or feminine who's going to be um giving you a gift absolutely uh i don't know how this i'm not even sure this may or may not relate to this it could be your person but it could just be somebody else um it could be parents or grandparents or whoever these people are it's either one or both and there's something coming to you some kind of gift okay i'm just going to leave that there or it could be going to, the, to your person as well look at this material wish being granted i'm telling you hmm maybe you're are you going through a court proceeding or something um it looks like it'll be in your favor granted a gift school loan or scholarship or something is coming in it's surrounding you it's connected to you in october or now through october all right for some of you oh you're you're going to be able to secure a new home maybe purchase a home virgo if that's something that you're okay i don't know if you're going to secure a home but maybe it's just a security system for your home but you're going to receive some type of, of monetary something of value where if you wanted to buy a home you could <laughs> i'm just telling you that's all i'm saying okay all right, you also have victory, recognition, and applause. So you've got a lot of people surrounding you, Virgo, in October, who's going to be like, yay, clapping for you, very proud of you, very happy for you, um, supporting you in your success. A lot of fans. I'm seeing fans. So if you're doing something, you know, like online, where you have to have fans or subscribers or something like that, like kind of what I do here, Virgo, I feel like you're going you're gonna to have that. So you're starting some kind of business online or something um maybe there's social media thing um yeah i kind of i definitely feel like that's not kind of I definitely feel like that energy is coming on uh coming in here and this is um like you might receive like there's good news coming in um and you might receive like an award too in october there might be some kind of it's like success you know and recognition for your success and some kind of victory it could be a trophy of some sort okay you also have the hierophant right traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path what are your spiritual beliefs virgo will you conform what path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go and you're being asked to check yourself here like where are, what do you want virgo where are you what are you doing and you also have emotional wish being granted this kind of feels to me like this is like your prayer life, Virgo, your meditation life, or whatever, your spiritual life. Um, I feel like this. the message here is to ask Spirit, God, whomever is your higher power, um, to, to, to grant you or give you grace for things that will emotionally bring happiness and joy to you. Okay, it will come to you. If you haven't done it yet, I feel like it's coming. Whatever you've been asking for, um, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> The, 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 the wish will be granted like like jesus jesus the genie in a bottle right all right let me see what the chinese sign is for you and or your person what is the chinese sign here for virgo and virgo's person okay so starting with the year of the dragon the year of the goat year of the tiger the rat year of the rabbit monkey ox and a horse okay so that's you and your person or neither of you it's fine doesn't mean it's not your message all right virgo so let's take a look and see what your charms are and your other messages all right so you've got scorpio aquarius capricorn aquarius again okay so they could be significant to you okay 1969 1989, 1983, someone's 48, August 27th, 61, 55, could be ages or year of birth, 1978, someone's 53, someone's 41, someone's 35, September 1st, September 12th, September 15th, uh, September 20th, September 19th, 30, age 31 or August 31st, or somebody might be 27. Okay, 
So I'm hearing Kate, Ekaterina, okay, Frank, Artie, Kurt. Somebody's birthday's in June. Somebody's, so we might have a Gemini, Cancer Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, we have. Okay. Um, somebody eats poke. Is that it? Poke? P O K E? Poke? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, Talia. Okay. Ro. Someone's last name is Ro. Okay. 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 I keep getting Katie. Kath. Catherine. Big vibes. We have Kit or Kitty. Maybe Kit Kat. Okay. Woke. Work. Some of you connection to someone at work. Uh, Robert. Regina. Roland. Oh man, they're giving me so many names. Taffy or Tabitha. Tabby. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Priyana. Like a P with a P. Priyanka. Maybe that's what it is. Tate. Um, Pat. Paul, okay, I'm not, all right, is there anything else here, come on, September 1st, did I already say that, oh, September 11th, also, they're giving me, Rafa, someone's last name is Rafa, Park, Ford, Mm, 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 mm. Okay, is that it? Someone's in Korea. We have Korea. We have, um, uh, they're giving me Rhode Island. Um, Kansas, Wisconsin. France, I always, I feel like I always get France. Any cities? Do we have any other cities? Or Kansas City, uh, Washington, so obviously major cities I'm picking up here, Rockford, or Rock, Rockaway, Rockford, lean back, lean back, fate, or faith, someone's name is faith, or, or fate, something is fated, or faith, it could be somebody's name, now right, so some of these people, it could be your name or people you have connections to, they're just telling me, Sean, also, uh, Chris or Kristen, Ian, Cassie. Okay, I think we've done enough of this. All right, let's see. Someone's an RN, and also someone's a public defender or works in the law office or legal. Wow. All right, we got a Bambi here. Got a little Bambi. So a little reindeer. That's Rudolph. I mean, no, that's Bambi for sure. Okay, maybe that's your name. Could be, is your name Bambi? Might be a connection or Disney or, you know, maybe you're watching Bambi. You might see like a, a doe or a fawn somewhere near where you live. You might be seeing that. Hello, focus. What happened? Okay. So maybe a fawn. You also have a dragonfly. So I don't know. Are you still seeing dragonflies? Do we have dragonflies out here yet still? I've been seeing them all summer long. So there's some, dragonflies are a very spiritual um, symbol. I can't remember exactly what it means. I'm sorry. I always forget. If you know, leave a comment. But there is something here. You might have like a tattoo or some kind of connection to maybe your spirit animal is a dragonfly. Um, something, some type of connection to dragonflies. If you're seeing them around yesterday, you guys, Right when I was sitting outside, I was having my coffee in the morning, and there was, I'm actually going to show you, there was um, a praying mantis on my coffee cup, just sitting there. She was so nimble, 
and just so cute. Let me show you. Here she is. Check that out. Yep, I took a picture of her. Isn't she something? Just sitting there, very special, very symbolic of transformation and change. So here, I'm giving you, I'm giving you your, your praying man a spiritual spirit animal. <laughs> All right, you guys. Now you also have again with the wings. You have a butterfly. This is like a little kid's butterfly. So I I feel like this is super super cute. Let me show you. It feels like a coloring book. So there's like a coloring book butterfly here. Do you know what I mean when I say coloring book? It's like all the outlines, do you see? So you might be doing something or coloring or working with, you know, a coloring book with a child or coloring in butterflies, or there's some kind of connection to it. Maybe you have like a tattoo or something with like a very strong, thick black outline of a butterfly. Could be really tiny too. So we might have like a very tiny. And last but not least, you have, okay. I'm gonna just show you this. Because the thing, the first message that's coming to me here, you have a black lightning bolt, Virgo. So this, this is giving me, they're telling me black lightning. I don't know what the hell black lightning is. I've never heard of black lightning. Is that even a thing, you guys? Black lightning. Actually, we're going to ask chat GPT. What is black lightning? Okay. Oh, Black Lightning is a fictional superhero in DC Comics. Je Jefferson Pierce, one of the first major black superheroes in comic book history in 1977. Okay. And um, there was also a TV series. And in other contexts, Black Lightning might simply be a phrase used to describe dark and mysterious forms of electrical energy or lightning. Oh, interesting. I don't know, guys. I never heard of that before, but it's just coming to me now, and that's exactly what it looks like. There might be like um, an, elect a bolt, an electric surge that somebody doesn't see. Um, not exactly sure how that could relate. There could be um, an outage, a power outage that nobody can figure out where it's coming from. So it might not relate to you. On a, it could on a personal level, but... This might also be on a global scale as well. Or, I don't know. We're going to leave it there. I don't want to get into global stuff right now. So that's your message. I hope that you enjoy that. If you guys want to get a personal reading, please, please, please go over to my website, moonpotarot.com. The link is in the description box below this video and book your reading. You could do a text reading, which is like almost, it's instant. It's just, if you book it, it will be instant. You don't even need to, like any time of day, I'll get it to you even before that. Okay, if you've got any questions, you can do a phone call reading, 30 minutes or one hour if you want. Um, I'm, tomorrow I'm gonna upload your uh, members only. So if you're a member of my channel, uh, it's $9.99 a month and you get access to bonus content. So if you are already a member, you can upgrade to that. Um, and if you want to contribute to my channel, um, and support my channel on a mon monetarily, you can do it that way. Definitely go check that out and you'll get something in return for supporting my channel. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave that there, you guys. Thank you to the mods. I hope you guys have a fantastic, I don't even know what today is. Jesus, it's freaking Wednesday. Tomorrow I'll be back, right? Thursday with your weekend messages. All right, you guys, enjoy the shorts that I will be uploading. I'll be cutting these videos into shorts. So enjoy those for those of you that want to sit for the long reading and I will see you I just tomorrow. Can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us